Power, gas, and communication services have been cut off in the greater capital area, leaving people trapped in dire conditions. Severe water shortages have forced disparate measures, with the Nile River becoming a risky and laborious water source. Reports indicate heavy weaponry used in clashes across Khartoum and Omdurman, along with warplanes and explosions, adding to the chaos. Eyewitnesses report widespread looting in Khurtum and Darfur, exacerbating the lawlessness. It's laborious and dangerous to fetch water from the Nile River. If you drill a well even to a depth of 20 meters, you still can't get water. Now we can only pay for water. A small bottle of water might be free, but you have to pay to get more water. A large bottle of water costs 500 Sudanese pounds, and a bucket of water costs 4,000 Sudanese pounds. The conflict, ongoing since April, has displaced over 1.2 million people within Sudan and forced 400,000 to seek refuge in neighboring countries. Urgent international intervention is needed to address the deepening humanitarian crisis and protect civilians. The intensification of clashes, heavy weapons use, and widespread looting in Sudan's capital, Khartoum, paint a bleak picture of the ongoing crisis. With the critical shortages of vital resources and displacement of a significant number of people, urgent international intervention is crucial to address the humanitarian catastrophe and works toward a peaceful resolution. The people of Sudan are in desperate in need of assistance and support to alleviate their suffering and restore stability to the region.